artist to sign a record deal with Travis Barker's DTA Records, part of Electra. Congrats on that. So much. Oh my gosh. Every time I hear that, it's just, I'm just blessed. I'm so great. So unreal, right? Yeah, it's, it's literally a dream come true, you know, a dream that I didn't know I had, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't realize I had it until I was inside, like, this whole situation that I'm with Travis. And every day I'm just reminded of how much, like, he's such a legend and he's just the perfect person that I need to be with right now. So it's awesome. Yeah. And how did you end up getting together with him? So, I, uh, like I said before, I released my first single, Comatose, probably last uh, February 26th. And uh, he was the first person to hit up my management team uh, because his son showed him the song. And then the producer that I made the song with actually uh, hit him up because they knew each other like, pretty briefly. And he, was, he tells everyone that it was like two polar opposites of my life telling me and showing me the song. So he was like, I got to give it a change. And so uh, he, he hit up my team. And then I met, went and met with every other record label. And, New York and like LA really trying to decide what I wanted to do uh, first off the fact that I got to do that I understand that was like I was I was literally sitting at playlist uh, which was like a social media convention and I really had been like the past while wanting to like branch out of social media just because one it's pretty toxic like it's just not as authentic as everyone thinks it is mm -hmm. and then two, um, I just have a heart and passion for music and people. Like, I just really love people. And I know that music is a really good way to kind of gateway myself into that. Yeah. And I was kind of, like, really struggling with – because it is hard, you know. Once they see a TikToker, they see a TikToker. And not, like, someone who's venturing off into other, you know, escapades or to use a big word. But <laughs> the big word. The, the big opportunity of, you know, giving me the notoriety of, you know, Travis Barker. So I owe him my life for that. And so I literally went from playlist to every record label in America. And I was like, dude, what am I doing? Like, this isn't happening. You know, I literally felt like I was in, like, a Justin Bieber story or something. <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, Travis, like, to be able to work with him, that's just so amazing. Like you said, it's got to be so unreal. Like, you're friends with Travis freaking Barker. <laughs> he's literally... I can't even just ever I try to describe on different interviews like uh how amazing he is yeah. but I really can't until you're just around him and you feel the energy it's unreal it's unreal yeah okay we gotta get to some of your fan questions because your fans are savages okay they're awesome. they're oh awesome. my gosh they're amazing they're coming through with the questions let's see Alyssa says if you were a candle what scent would you be oh that's a that's good, a good one that's a good question I don't know. I really, really, really fuck with like lavender. I oh. love lavender, but maybe like a eucalyptus. My mom's really big into candles, so like I was always surrounded by candles. Yeah. Probably depends on the season. Maybe I don't know. If it was like fall, probably more like a oak, like a crisp something. I don't know. <laughs> but I really love candles. Probably lavender. That'd be my top one lavender all right i like that um peyton asks if you'll go on tour once COVID is gone oh 100 are you kidding me <laughs> that's all i'm thinking about. like the entire time while i'm in COVID is thinking about you know how can we go on tour how can i like, see all my fans because that's all i really want to do i just want to perform for people live like this is awesome that i get to do this you know yeah. um, but it's not the same yeah it's not the same i want people to be like sweating and like yeah. stuff like that in the crowd it's gonna be great yeah. Uh, Sophie wants to know about the best experience you've had since moving to L.A. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> that's actually, I don't think anyone's ever asked me that question. Yeah. Because uh, there, there's so many, like, so much, I don't think people understand so much happens when you, like, start living in a place like this, when you live in L.A., or maybe even New York, in uh, kind of a collateral sense, but... I don't know, really just finding uh, the people that I genuinely just love, you know? Uh, that's the best thing about all of it is finding the realest people out of everyone because people come and go like crazy. Like uh, love come and goes, like money come and goes, you know? Uh, but there's there's a few people, very like few people in, in this city that I really can just hold on to for, you know, the rest of my life. And I love I love that. And we have really good memories besides all that. But, you know, it's a grand scheme of things. Just meeting, oh, meeting those people yeah. is amazing. Oh, you hear that in the background? Yeah. Hey, I'm alive. <laughs> this is 
This is why I love live, okay? Because anything can happen. <laughs> Awesome. And me and my roommates, are, they're just a bunch of punks. So it's That's fun. awesome. Um, all right. So let's talk about your single, Angels and Demons. What does that song mean to you? Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you asked. Because a lot of people hear the song and it's, uh, you know, the main chorus is like, fuck me like a rock star or love me if you're listening to the radio version. And it's like, I'm not just talking about, like, love or, like, having sex. It's not what I'm talking about at all. Um, this The whole song is, is from the perspective of, the war like going on between my mind that I wake up with daily, um, or that I did. I feel like I'm in a lot better place than I was than I was when I wrote it. But um, it was me sitting in a place where I knew I had my angels and my demons, and it's like when I looked in the mirror, um, I didn't really know who I was looking at, type of thing, you know. And it sounds super dramatic, but it's kind of dramatic, you know. Like I know people go through a lot of mental wear and tear every day. And uh, my, my, the whole song was talking about my highest point in my life, which is like dancing on a cop car, my lowest point in my life, which is like riding on a cop car, um, really the duality between the two. Um, telling like the pre before the chorus is like, tell my friends I'm sorry though. And it's like, I know what I'm doing to myself. You know what I mean? Like I know that what I'm doing um, is detrimental for me, but I still want to tell my friends I'm sorry. And so that's really what all, all angels and demons are about. And it's really deep, you know? Like, if you listen to the Genius interview that I had, I really kind of get into like, what it means um, mm -hmm. on a day-to-day -day basis. But, yeah, that's a great question. I love that. Angels and Demons means a lot to me. And that's probably my uh, most popular song right now. Um, I have Trey coming out in, like, two days. Ooh! Which is, which is, I'm so excited about this one. I've been thinking about this one for months, like, literally for months. And... Uh, yeah. Finally got a chance to release it. The music video that goes with it is super powerful. Um, really highlighting suicide and uh, the effects of what suicide does to you. Not only you, obviously, but you know the people around you um, and, and how if you need help, you know there's, we, there's definitely people that will be there to help you. Um, that's really all my music video is about in this next song. So I really try to bring meaning into my music, you know what I mean? It's really fun to like, I have a song uh, with a really cool person coming out pretty soon which is kind of just like a living it up to the fullest like party song. But I really try to talk about real things, you know, and I'm, I'm really just scared of anybody's opinion. I just want to talk about things that need to be talked about. And See, so, and that's my favorite kind of music and favorite kind of artists are ones that keep it real and talk about things that people can relate to. Absolutely. Like that, for example, you just saying that like makes me, I cannot wait for this album now. I was already excited and now I'm more excited because I've had multiple people in my life, you know, I've lost to suicide. I have a whole sleeve. Oh, of wow. ded dedication uh, to that kind of thing. So the fact right. that we can relate is like, cool, you know? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, that's that's the main premise I really want to show people is that, you know, it's really kind of hard to break the ice and between people, and especially right now in our country, there's just so much division. There's a lot of, it's really hard to break the ice between people to talk about issues that need to be talked about. Mm -hmm. But because, you know, I have a song out tomorrow, it's like, yo, you just said, like, we're connected because of that. You know what I mean? And that's the coolest thing for me is, like, I know that I can write a song and uh, millions of people can all feel unified because of the song. And that's all my goal is. Like, I don't really care about money. I don't really care about fame. Um, all those things are a blessing. Like, I'm so grateful for it. But that's not my goal. My goal is human souls. Like, I want human beings to feel unified and, and be able to find their purpose and feel encouraged. Um, so, yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's really cool. So uh, what do you think? Can we hear some music? Oh, absolutely. Let's hear it. Which one do you want to hear first? Angels and Demons or so what? Ooh, let's do Angels and Demons first. I bet. I bet. My guitar player is going to hit this shit. Cool. Hit this. Yeah. Two face, two face, yeah. Black, white, left, right, yeah. Up, down, all night, yeah. Can't escape it ever, don't forget my name I don't feel the same on the true, no track And all these angels and demons keep shouting and screaming I'm falling from Eden So love me like a rock star Dancing on the cop car Nothing in the world can stop me now Wasted like a rock star, riding in a cop car. No one in the world can help me out. Yeah. Everybody.
Everybody says that I'm falling. Take another line, I'm calling. I'm so sick of the nonsense. I'm a dive into the mosh pit. I don't really think I'm the problem. I don't really think it's a problem. Me plus me is a problem. One good shot to solve them. But tell my friends I'm sorry though. Yeah, tell my sins to go and all these things. So love me like a rock star, dancing on the drop guard. Nothing in the world can stop me now. Dancing like a rock star, riding in a cop car. No one in the world can help me now. Oh, 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 Shouting this, and I'm falling from me. This love me like a rock star, dancing like a rock star. Nothing in the world can stop me now. Wasted like a rock star, riding in the <laughs> rock No one in the world can help me out. Oh, no, no, no. Mm, a little so much. You guys have so much fun with it. I love it. Dude, it is fun. You know, like we can't, uh, we can't make it as real as possible. And obviously, there's like sound issues every time. But it's like you know, just having fun. So of course, we bring the yes. always. You like that little pause I gave in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wait for it. <laughs> the dramatic effect. Yeah. So that was angels and demons. Um, Really, you're just proud of that song. You know, it's going crazy. I think it's about to hit 40 million streams on Spotify. Wow. Which I've never even seen a number that big in my life. You know what I mean? Like, to me, um, this means the world, dude. Like, just genuinely being able to make my music, it's, it means the world to me. So, yes, it's fantastic. That's awesome. More called So What. I don't know if you've heard it. Um, came out with that, like, a month ago, really, actually. Yeah. Like, uh, a month ago today, actually, or yesterday. And so this one's really fun. It's really pop rock, pop rock, pop punk. It's really pop rock, bro. <laughs> hey, you just invented a new word. <laughs> yeah, we created our new genre. So yeah. Wait, let's hit that one. Let's go. This is so what? <laughs> yeah. Look. Hey. These thoughts in my head take control, but when I'm down, I beg for more. Yeah, I beg for more. Yeah, and I think about you all night. I don't want to fight. All these other random girls want to kill my vibe. Yeah, what a waste of time. <laughs> so what? I'm broken, and my heart is frozen. All my words are choking. I'm so over life. So what? I'm broken and my heart is frozen. All these wounds are open. I'm so down tonight. Yeah, I'm so down tonight. Yeah, exhausted. It's toxic. You took the line and crossed it. Don't miss me. You're busy. It sucks that you're so pretty. Walk out my door and you're driving away. PTSD leaving me my grave. I'm not okay. So what? I'm broken and my heart is frozen. All my words are choking. I'm so over life. So what? I'm broken. Do this love was poison. All the things are open. I'm so down tonight. Yeah, I'm so down tonight. She said it's all my fault. It's all mine. She said it's all my fault. It's all mine. She said it's all my fault. It's all mine. She said it's all my fault. So what? I'm broken and my heart is frozen. All my words are choking. I'm 
so much i really appreciate that i'm ready for it so if you're ready for it i'm ready for it oh so ready for it all right so you said album coming soon what can we expect from Jaden? okay so we have pray coming out in like two days which is my next single then i have a very special song with a really dope ass artist um that i'm sure a lot of you know and uh, coming out with with a single after that uh, i don't want to say who yet because i'm trying to keep it like come on like secrets but uh it's it's somewhat really cool uh i'll just say he, I, let me give like a hint hold on what's something i'd say yeah give us uh, a hint. it's almost like it's almost like i'm just gonna say designer and it's not designer by the way but i'm just gonna say designer and if you can think in your head like who would that be like anyway anyway yeah i single, think i got it you know coming out after that and then i'm the EP in like October, November, um, which is going to be really fun. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to have like some songs that I've already created and then a bunch of new um, singles with, along with that. And it's going to be fantastic. Like it's going to be so dope. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time to do this, to chat, to perform. Of uh, course. Wish you guys the best of luck. Like I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so much. You have a fantastic day. All right. Hey, you too. Thank you. All right. Adios, people. See ya. Woo, how awesome was that? Oh my gosh. You guys are still coming through with the questions. I'm sorry I couldn't get to more. We were on a, a limited time schedule, but wow, you guys are amazing. Shout out to Jaden for uh, doing this. I'm sitting here trying to figure out Instagram and how to save this video because I know nothing about Instagram. And I'm a millennial, how sad is that? <laughs> But for real, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking at all the comments now too. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see here. Sweet, all right, well thank you all so much again. Thank you to Jaden for taking the time to do this. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. See ya.